So we have our swan, which is inserted into our cordis right now. Um, whenever you have the swan in the cordis, essentially it's going to be going through a central uh, vein into the right atrium and then it will go into the right ventricle and then the end will be floated into the pulmonary artery. Essentially with your swan you're going to have multiple lumens open and these are going to be opening in specific areas so this lumen here that you see you can see that that's actually going to be in the right atrium. This brown coloration on your line is actually going to be the portion that's in your right ventricle and that's going to be um, telling your monitor what your cardiac output is and um, your cardiac index will be calculated based off of that. At the end of your line you're going to have an opening lumen that will sense your pulmonary artery blood pressure and then around the end of the line you're going to have a kind of plastic balloon that you can inflate using your red port. So that's where the lines open up. Over at the insertion points of the swan you're going to have this thicker white ports and essentially there's a hole up here that the entire swan will go in through and it'll go through the physical line itself. Um, in addition you'll have you know maybe one or two extra lumens that you can put blood through, IV solutions, medications, etc. So right now what's keeping my swan from being pulled out is this little divot um, that we have locked in place. If I was going to DC my swan and I wanted to keep my cordis, essentially what I would do is I'm going to move that divot to the center and then I could pull this whole thing out um, and leave the cordis in. So essentially I would just pull it out there. I'm going to go ahead and lock it back in place. So that's an important thing. Um, if this isn't locked in place then your swan could potentially come out. Um, the other thing that is locked on here is this plastic sheath. This is what's keeping your line sterile. So if they put the line in and they discover, oh, it's not, the line is not in place correctly, we need to advance it a couple of centimeters, that's fine because you still have this plastic sheath. This whole thing is still sterile. All you would do is you would unlock and you could essentially advance your line more and more and more. And then once it's in place, then you just lock it again. So, but now your line is not moving. Um, it's not going to be pulled out or anything like that. Inside your plastic covering, you're going to see your swan itself. You're going to have marks of measurement on here. So your thicker line is going to be a mark of 50. Thin lines are marks of 10. So this mark right here is the 70 centimeter marking. So whenever you're measuring your internal length, what you're going to do is you're going to measure from the yellow hub to the nearest marking you see. And you're going to subtract this measurement from this measurement and that will be the internal length of the swan. So here I have it pretty close to the 60. So this one would be in the internal length of the swan, it would be 60 centimeters. So again, you have your markings. Thick mark is 50 centimeters, thin marks are 10, so this is 70. You always wanna make sure to hand off what the internal length of the swan is.